do. The Reverend Al Sharpton has written a book. We always enjoy seeing Reverend Al on the show. To find out what black people are thinking about. He's in touch with the community. It's called Go and Tell Pharaoh. The autobiography of Reverend Al Sharpton. Look at you. More handsome than ever. <laughs> So, Reverend Al Sharpton, look at you. Where's your medallion? I left it in your green room. Really? What happened to the Martin Luther King medallion? Have you gone more radical? Probably. No, I don't think radical. I think he's gone, become uh, conservative. Why? Yeah. He's stepping why, why? over to the other side. Yeah, he wants to be senator. <laughs> why is the only black on the show in the cage There's and everybody else out here? How do you know? How do you know we're not in the cage? <laughs> Why is Robin in the cage? I came to free Robin. <laughs> Take a look at the white boys in this room. Would you want to sit in this room with us all day? No, that's true. That's right. Now, it works better when we're separated. That's true. <laughs> all right, now in your new autobiography, we, we think the... Wait a minute, get back to this uh, oh, what? garbage on the bridge. I heard this. Ah! Yeah, right, right, right. I was doing some preaching. Let me hear you. You know what? It occurs to me, this is how you make a living, right? Preaching. You have a congregation, and what do they do? In they fact, pass wasn't he like a six-year-old preacher? I started Boy preaching when I was four, but but Howard, you made more uh, of an uh, uh, impersonation of Jimmy Swaggart or something. Oh, you think so? When you were in Roosevelt, you obviously didn't go to a black church. No, I, I went to a white church in Roosevelt. Yeah. I was the only member. You, you, you realize that they've just overthrown the Roosevelt School Board. Yes, I know that. And and that was a good idea. And their, Do you their, agree with it? Their case in point was they had the uh, the board in Albany listen to your show and said you were a result of <laughs> the was a school system. You don't know. The, the school that I went to, which were, I was one of uh, three white people in the community, and um, the school, I told you, was wild. We had a wild school. Mm. Teachers were getting stabbed in the parking lot. What Kids would were... ever give us the impression you came out of a wild school? <laughs> it was a wild school. And I was the one getting beat up because I was the only white guy around to beat up. When Martin Luther and King was assassinated. And now you all of us pay for your childhood. That right? is correct. <laughs> when Martin Luther King was assassinated, I was the guy everyone beat up. Really? Because no... I swear to you, my mother goes, you are going to school. On Martin... I don't care that Martin Luther King, you're going to school. That is, it's racist to think that you are going to get beat up and you're going to go to school and you're going to sit there because you can't be afraid of anyone or anything in this world. I got my ass kicked. <laughs> I came home. I was on, yelling at my mother. You bloody or anything, right? Oh, now. yeah. I got punched in the face. <laughs> I said, I said, Mom, what are you doing? I said, Why don't, listen, if you want to go with you. Get? Did you get to school? Uh, yeah, I got to school, but I, t I got home. I barely got home. I had to hop over a barbed wire fence, and I almost caught my balls on the fence. And that's when you decided to go on the radio and try to desecrate us for the rest of you. No, 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 no. I love the black people. Are yeah. you crazy? That's why Robin's in a cage. <laughs> that's why you say we're always late. And oh, that's why come you... on. I was only making a joke, my man. What's the deal? Hey, now, meanwhile, meanwhile... You've run out of things to protest. Am I right or wrong? What, what, the last time I saw you on the news, you're protesting that um, you couldn't walk in the street. You wanted to walk. You, you, you couldn't walk on the side. Yeah. That's not what we Oh, protest. come on. Tell me you haven't we run have out of things. We have a Martin Luther King march every year, 15 years. <laughs> they decide this year that they don't want us to go to route we went. So we turn around and went to where Giuliani was. No, you're always trying to make trouble. Admit it. Make Admit trouble. It. You you people get killed and we respond. We're not making trouble. We're responding to trouble. Now, tell me something. You make your living. Here's a guy Wait that a goes all the way to the Supreme Court for the right to curse on radio and you talk about me making no, trouble. No, you make real trouble. <laughs> I don't, listen, I don't care if I walk on the sidewalk. I love walking on the sidewalk. At least I ran statewide. You chickened out. I did chicken out. Did you reveal your finances when you ran? Oh, yeah. I had none. Oh, you had none. <laughs> you had no money. That's the best defense. No, but you have made your money from what preaching. money? <laughs> no, but I mean, you make a living from preaching. I'm you're from a minister. A, you're yes. a minister. That's yes. where you make your living. I mean, what do they do? They pass around a plate or something? They, uh, like they do in any church. And, what, the cotton and, and you still do it every Sunday? Do you Absolutely. go there And you, you preach the gospel? That's right. No kidding. That's right. Are you really good at it? I, I guess. I'll take you to church sometime. That no, may let be me the only hope for you. Teach me, give me a two-minute spiel. No, yeah. you can't do a spiel. Every time I Come open on, my, my mouth, I'm preaching. Reverend Al. There's, there's, there's Jimmy Swagger. That's Reverend what, Al. This is what whites did to religion. Listen to <laughs> it. Don't be calling me whites. That's right. I grew up in the black community where I learned that all races must get along. We all, we all have casualties in our community. Yeah. Yeah. Do you sing it? Can you sing? No, that's swagger. Go ahead. No, I bet you can do all this. You teach me something. Who's Come this? On. All right, Come on. Billy Graham. Come on, man. Oh, yeah. And he has no yeah. shame. Yeah, yeah, no yeah. Shame. Jesus Christ, I love you so much, my sweet, sweet, dear God. Yes, sir. How's that? That's you. Jesus Christ was up there. 
on a cross for our Hallelujah. sins. Get, get the Supreme Court on the phone. And you got, Reverend Al, you got all these men today, they're all confused. Am yes, I right or are they confused? You got a mirror in here for yes, you? Don't you think some of these men who dress up in women's clothing and they say I'm confused and they yes, say sir. they were born a man but they don't stand up and be a man. They act yes, like sir. women, don't you think they have a problem? Look at the cover of your last book. Look at you, look at you. You can't even preach. You're embarrassed. I've... You only do it around black people, right? No, I. Oh, is that I'm why you won't do it? No, I'm, right, come on, tell me I wasn't good. You were great. You're for, damn right I you, was. You were great. Let me ask you something. Can I come over to that church and preach one Anytime. Sunday with you? No, not uh, preach. Uh, yeah, I mean get up and actually do no, it. No, not preach. I want to give a sermon on cross. I've got room at the altar for you to repent. Really? I just don't have, have time to hear all the confessions. And do people come to you for confession? We have church. Absolutely. No do you counsel people? Oh, 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 we counsel people. That must be I great. need to counsel you, Robin. <laughs> do you ever? You know when James Brown first brought me here. <laughs> he told me there was hope. I thought you brought him here. <laughs> oh, well, however you want to yeah. say Yeah. Uh, he told me there was hope for you, Howard. Really? And now you don't think you, it's true? You think well, it's a long he, cause even long. James can be wrong. Now, someone told me, and you admit, you had a you have a weight problem, and that's from eating too many communion wafers. Is that correct? <laughs> is that in your new book, Go and Tell Pharaoh? <laughs> the uh, autobiography of Reverend Al Sharp. Now, you're very honest in this book, aren't you? Yeah. Now, your daddy. That was one wild character. Well, everybody had uh, somebody wild in their life. Made love to... He married. He married your... Uh, wh what was that? Well, the, he. Uh, I guess Al's father married a woman who had some children. <laughs> and then they had a few children. Yeah. But then the father fell in love with one of the older daughters from her previous relationship. Oh, man. He's like Woody Allen. And went off with her. So you hate your daddy? No, I don't hate him. That's why you're so angry. No, I should. It's got nothing to do with you, the white you're man. You're taking it out on everybody you, else. You're looking now, at the Alan. white man. <laughs> you're looking at the white man as your daddy. No, I'm looking, oh, at, yes. I'm yes, looking at a society that uh, uh, has done its own. I think that what I shared in terms of my family was to let a lot of kids know that you can go through a lot of things in life that doesn't have to destroy you. Was it a white girl? Or no, a black woman? Absolutely not. His sister, Howard. Well, how do you know his, how do you know his father didn't marry a white you're woman? You're talking to his Howard. You, you act I don't like know. you're talking to somebody logical. How <laughs> would Al's sister be a white woman? I don't know. I'm In confused. In Howard's world, anything can <laughs> hey, Your father, was it was his name Woody Sharpton? Like Woody Allen Sharpton? <laughs> no. No. Did we, so you must have freaked out. I mean, you was Well, I was a kid. I mean, uh, uh, I grew up older and, and, and uh, did things like meet you and then freaked out. <laughs> did, you beat, did you beat this guy's ass? Oh, no. I was he a was kid. He was a baby. Really? And then you grew up upset. Well, and I, that's when you started getting angry at the white man. No. Well, no. he grew up very poor, he says, because... I grew up very poor. That's when you got angry. But, you know, I saw racism very young. That's when I got angry. Do you realize you are your own uncle? <laughs> if your father married your own sister... I'm not my own Yes, you are. <laughs> you might be your cousin, though. <laughs> you are your own cousin. That's unbelievable. You've been watching too many of them shows in the middle of the night. Huh? <laughs> All right, so um, you're still sticking with the O.J. Innocent Hutton, thing? Please come back on. Still sticking with the uh, O.J. Innocent thing? Still sticking with what? O.J. Innocent, or you think he did it? I, I, I clearly think they didn't prove it in court. Oh. You know, I know Where you don't believe evidence? that. I know you, oh. What was the evidence, Howard? I know, I know you don't even believe that. Where was That's the, the evidence? party line. The evidence, DNA, wait, wait, blood wait, all over wait, the place. Wait a minute, Howard. Why would you think he didn't believe? I thought for once he would take a different no. stand. I mean, just once. But and I, I know, there's, know there's where the much, evidence was. There's too much evidence on the part that of uh, Al on Al's part that he can buy any story. But wait a second. He buy believes, any story? He believes that I didn't Jay buy a tipping, story. The jury, the jury didn't the buy the oh, prosecutor. You know what was You know what was going on there? Oh. Do you think O.J., come on, Christopher Darden said that he has convicted guys with 10% of that amount of well, evidence. Why did he convict O.J.? Why didn't he? Yeah. All black jury could, if you were on that jury and you're black, you could never go back to your community and face your community why? if you let O.J. Because you had the Muslims, you had everybody out there protesting and oh. screaming, hey, race traitors, this and that. Yeah, it was a total racial thing. You Please. know it. And, 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 and it never occurred to Chris Dodd and Marsha Clark of this until they got diverted. The they went through all of these months it's, of, he says of he going did. through the trial, he he said he the win, and then when they lost, they come with all of this. As a I reason. think everybody had hope. I think even you had hope that O.J. Would, would go to jail. I, I, I who do you only, admire more, Christopher Darden or O.J. Simpson? Who did I admire? Who do you admire more, O.J. Simpson or Christopher they're Darden? They're not either one of them are not on my top ten oh, list. Oh, I don't believe it. Who's on your top ten list? Johnny oh. Cochran? I didn't say Johnny Cochran. You hate Johnny Cochran, right? I don't hate anybody. Is he trying to steal your thunder? <laughs> my thunder for what? Hey, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Try know, to get some of the gate. Howard is a sick puppy. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about. The man. The man of what? <laughs> I don't know. Listen to me. I know you don't. <laughs> I don't know. All right, wait a second. 
So you sat down and you wrote this book. Mm-hmm. And this is, you admit to everything in this book. I tell the story. Now, what about Tawana Broly? You backing off that one? Of course not. What? Oh, see, that's why I say, of course. You still think she was uh, raped? Oh, absolutely. Why you believe this? By the same people you said raped her? Oh, what? Are we going to switch facts later? I mean, I don't really? know what you do. What? <laughs> read the book. <laughs> read <laughs> the book. We got to read the book to find out. Yeah. So you talking about at least about one of us wrote a literary book? <laughs> oh, come on! You read my book. I didn't pose for as Miss America on did, the cover. Did you get summer. horny reading my book? No. Uh, did I do what? Did you get horny? <laughs> What's going on with you and your wife? You, what, how's your fine wife, by the way? You write about her in there? Of course. Do you write about the first time you had sex with her? No. I, you do not? I'm, I'm not an exhibitionist. Oh, come on. I'm an activist. His wife, you know if you don't he, mind me saying, I is a piece of ass. I do have to commend him yeah. on the fact that he's not wearing a jogging suit today. He's wearing yeah. a suit. And you look a lot better. i got to be honest with you. I thought it was an insult to joggers everywhere <laughs> that you were wearing a jogging suit. <laughs> How do you look nude? I wonder. You I'm sure good? you do. <laughs> do you look good? I'm sure you do. <laughs> have you ever made love to a man? No. In your whole life, you the, never read it? If I recall, when I was in the hospital, you came and jumped in the bed. And I had the security <laughs> drag you out. That is correct. I showed that on TV. As a yeah, you did. I had a hidden camera. And you wasn't ashamed of yourself. That's it was right. something. Meanwhile, it was I came... a traumatic experience for the hospital and me. So now you're wearing a suit. You're going more legitimate. All right. No, I've always been legitimate. And you're out promoting this book now. I am definitely promoting Where are you going after this show? I'm, I have other radio shows today. Really? Yeah. Black stations or white stations? I, I, I talk to everybody. You do talk to everybody. Do you get Obviously, any flack where for I am doing now. this show? Huh? Do you get, do you do get, get flack? flack for of doing course this I show? do. Yeah. <laughs> Can't believe it, right? What do people say to you? People ask me, how could I do this to myself? And what do you say? <laughs> I, as a minister, I can't uh, give anyone uh, uh, the possibility of not having the ability to redeem themselves. Now, let me ask you, you don't think, but you don't, you don't think I'm a racist guy, do you? Of course I do. You do, really? Do you think I'm a racist? Sure. I'm not. Oh, you, you're let not. me say to you now, <laughs> Reverend Al, listen to me, baby. And, and now you go ahead and prove it. I love your beautiful black skin. I love beautiful white skin. To me, people are people. Yes, sir. The Lord Jesus H. Christ taught me that when he was up on the cross, I saw him on the cross, I was next to him, and then I saw myself in the ground alone with him. Well, there were two thieves next to him. I was one of them. That's true. Praise the Lord. Now, okay, let's get back to your interview. Robin, your community <laughs> sent me to save you. Uh, save me from what? <laughs> you don't, from this. You don't admire Christopher Darden, a guy who grew up in the ghetto, had nothing, came out of poverty, Put himself through law school, studied hard, became a prosecutor, is honest to a fault. Even, you know, you see him in these interviews. The guy is very honest up front. He's not like one of these crooked lawyers. That's a man to be, I think, worshipped and idolized. Well, maybe. I mean, I, I respected what he did the other day on a, a radio station, jumping on a, a, one of the uh, local racist commentators. But other than that, I really didn't know that much about Don until this case. Really? I didn't. I'm not from L.A. I didn't know that much about Darden until this case. I don't think anybody. Nobody knew anything about Darden right. until this case. So, so I didn't know that he had done all of these things that you said. And you supporting Jesse Jackson on this whole uh, Hollywood is racist, too? Oh, oh absolutely. Anytime you have 166 <laughs> nominees for Oscars and only one black, that's crazy. Really? Absolutely. You know who's dating Christopher Darden? No. I'm not dating anybody. Don't Are you me. going out on a second date with him? He hasn't asked. I haven't heard from He him. did ask. I heard him ask you. <laughs> well, She's already had one date. That's good. What do you think of that? I think that's great. She needs a man, doesn't she? Well, she certainly needs a different selection of men than she has here in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Al? I sometimes wonder how black people can't figure out that you can be anywhere. See, you're right here right now. Right. And nothing about you is going to change by being here and you're going to walk out with the same beliefs that you came in. Oh, with. that's for sure. <laughs> oh, I think I'll change him. Oh, you think so? I think Tawana Brawley, he's got to change. You but can't still, stick by that one. people will say you shouldn't have come in here. Why is that? I think that people are, are, are outraged by a lot of things said, but I look at it this way. Uh, one, uh, as I said with James when I first came here, I think that everything that I accuse West Western civilization and Western culture of how it proves. So I, I yeah, come, yeah. I come so that the world will know that I'm not exaggerating about <laughs> the fall of Western civilization. <laughs> All you have to do is turn on Howard Stern, <laughs> and then you'll and believe everybody everything. says, "No, Sharpton is not exaggerating." You, you think it, you think that I'm good that way? I think that. Well, you I, are, I want to thank you. You personify everything I fought all my life. Now, why are you not wearing the medallion of Martin Luther King? Anymore? I left it in the green. 
Are you just being serious? Yes. You're not wearing you a medallion. You can't wear it in here? Why can't you wear it in here? Because I didn't want you to start uh, trying to steal my medallion. I tried to play Frisbee with it on my TV show. Remember that? I do remember yeah, that. that's right. <laughs> and that's when you tried to get me to do something on Michael Jackson. I mean, it, it was crazy. Yeah, it was really out of... Uh, now, now let's talk about OJ for a second. Oh, yeah. How could people support him? He's busy with white women. What's around. that got to do with anything? Howard? Please, he, oh, Al has plenty to say on oh, that. He does? When a I brother, do. when a brother makes it, <laughs> hold it a second. When a brother makes it, and he's living the good life, isn't it incumbent upon him not to turn his back on our fellow brothers and sisters? It's incumbent on him not to turn his back. That's right. It has nothing to do with uh, with OJ. OJ's case was based on what was presented We're not talking before. About his case. We're talking well, that's about what OJ. he raised. Should he be? Should he be uh, messing around with all these white women? Well, you'd have to ask the white women in OJ. And you still maintain that you never had white women, or is we going to read something in this book that says you've had white oh, women? No, I've, 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 I've never, the closest I've ever been to a white woman is when you jumped in the bed at the hospital. <laughs> That's it, huh? And why, are you, why is your nail? Why are you wearing nail polish now? This is a new thing. They gave me a manicure. Who did? A, a sister uptown, 125th Street Mart. You ought to go there and shop. And really, is that business. right? And what about this whole uh, when everyone was accusing you of getting everyone all riled up over there, up there? Well, they brought it before the prosecutor. Prosecutor said it's not true. That's not true. You believe you believe the prosecutor everything else? I riled up how? I made a speech three months before the incident, and they I guess they're trying to say somebody had a delayed reaction. And then you, of all people, going to ask about riling people up? Now, now, now you, you say I'm a racist, right? Is Farrakhan a racist? A racist? Yeah. A racist? Well, how, first of all, how do you define racist? Um, uh, uh, someone who hates people based on their race, on the color think, of their skin. I've never uh, uh, in any conversation heard him say that he hated people based on their skin. You know he wrote a song about um, uh, gays. about the gays? No. Is you gay or is you not? Did I don't you know hear that he one? wrote it, but he sang it. He sang it. He sang it when? On his Calypso album. I've never heard yeah, it. I'll play it for you. I'm going to play it for you right now. Here you go. Legitimate. Legitimate. This is him. You're going to hate music now. I am trying to find a solution. That's oh, not fun. It is, I swear. To find he was a Calypso singer before he became. Yeah, I know that, but that is not his voice. Oh, that's him. It is, I swear to God. It's not transsexual. Maybe it was a review of your book. <laughs> I don't know. But look at Al, he's dancing. You love that. All right, now what is going on in your personal life? So you go to this preacher. Right you go now, to this I'm preacher. visiting no, you do the, the sick and afflicted. People want to know about you. And go go and tell Pharaoh the new book. You doing a book signing, by the way? I did it. Uh, you did white, it already? Yeah. White people show up or just black I, I, people? We had a lot of both. You did? Yeah. And uh, go and tell Pharaoh is the autobiography of the Reverend Al Sharpton. Very sexy picture on the front, by the way. Wow. See you letting your hair go gray. Well, I'm growing up, <laughs> and you're still and you're still straightening your hair though, which is very shocking. I'm surprised you don't go to the afro. Very surprised. Well, you know James Brown and I made an arrangement about that years ago, so I've been keeping that. Do you ever get any flack from your black brothers and sisters? I get flack from people on all kinds of things. The flack doesn't bother me. I see. And you've lost weight, have you not? Yes. How did you do that? I stopped eating. <laughs> really? What were you eating? Because I remember when you were, I think I know when you decided to lose weight. You were doing one of your protest marches, and there was a thing out in the newspaper that you were stopping along the way that the hamburger yeah, every places. every march went to a Burger King. <laughs> every march? You were marching to Burger King. <laughs> we're walking to Albany. The only place you could stop was a franchise. It's not exactly like people uh, in uh, Rockland County was inviting us to stop in their house. You, they said you cracked the sidewalk when you were walking. Everyone got angry. Well, the taxpayers. Yeah, well, if the taxpayers can take the budget cut, worry about me marching past, then I think the taxpayers need to reevaluate. And what were you eating that you got so heavy? Were you eating like a I lot of... I was just eating late at night, eating a lot of fried foods and stuff, what watching those late uh, talk shows that you do and yes. eating. Yes, And I stopped all of that. And do you put in your book the dieting tips? Are there any diet tips in there? Or is it very you serious? Know, oh, yeah, I talk big. about some yeah. You do talk about your weight. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What, well, what really... Have you ever looked at yourself naked? In the mirror? I, I I told you I'm not an exhibitionist. But could you, when you were at your heaviest, could you see your penis? Oh. If you took off your clothes, could you look down and see it, or was it obscured by? It? You're so ridiculous. No, I'm I'm, see, curious. I'm, also, I'm trying to interview. No, but you must I'm understand. Doing, I'm doing he an interview. He also has a phallic problem with black men. <laughs> no, that I mean, let not it true. all come out. This is therapy when I come to see you, Howard. <laughs> that was this is let in my movie, all, by why, the way. Why don't you lay it back? Reverend Al is right about, about it. blacks and your problem. Okay. You have a problem, phallic problem with black men. Well, I'll tell you something. We beat you up. You say when you were in school. Come on. You see, you're turning things around. This is what you do for a living. You're turning it all around. 
not trying to go. I'm this asking has nothing to do with questions. black people. I'm asking you, calm when you were fat, down, could you see your penis? Howard, calm. <laughs> oh, no. It's going to be all right, Howard. Did you use a dentist Howie, mirror Howie, to Howie, find your penis? What else happened? Right. Did, 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 did the black guy steal your girlfriend? Come on, Howie. Tell, Girl, I used tell to, Reverend I, Howie, I used to Howie, ask black women down. to go date me, yes. and they would say, are you crazy? Well, I'm not going to get my ass kicked. Well, that is true. Why make it racial, Howie? That is true. You're married now, Howie. I am. I am. You're successful by some standards, That is true. So it's all right. Did I insult exhale. you by asking that? Did exhale, I? Howie. I am waiting to exhale. <laughs> did I insult you by asking Absolutely about your genitals? Absolutely not. I did, I did not, right? Of course That's not. That's a legitimate question. No, it's your question. <laughs> I said. <laughs> if we were worried about legitimate questions, we wouldn't be talking. Now, um, uh, let's take a phone call for you. Okay. Is that okay? Is that yeah. fair? All Maybe right. it's John Kennedy Does Jr. Al use the royal we? Oh, yes. We. Oh, oh, oh yeah. He's gone. He's totally, ta oh, he's we? totally taken with himself. <laughs> if we were worried. <laughs> One of the things you wanted more in life than anything. Oh, the, you call it the royal we? <laughs> yeah. yeah. We this, we that. Let me tell you something. Al loves being famous yes, he does. more than anything. Oh, True. Right? And you, you love the attention in the spotlight. you got to admit that. Well, well, do you admit I, that I, in the book? I think that there are a lot of other things I could do if all I wanted was to be famous and have spotlight. What is the biggest confession in this book that people didn't know about? That, that I think the Democrats are just as bad as the Republicans. Is that That's the biggest revelation? I don't believe it. Well, I think it's certainly a bigger revelation is the fact that your daddy made love to uh, your sister. Well, I think that that's... Uh, uh, confess. A situation. Well, first of all, there's nothing for me to confess. I was a kid, but I think that that's a situation that, again, I share because a lot of kids go through problems and think. Is your father didn't. still around? Yeah, he is. Do you still see him? I see him now. Do you, yeah. Do you, do you like say, hey man, what the hell's wrong with you? No, I mean, I think a lot of people have to learn how to get past tragedies in their family. And but, your sister's still with him? Yeah. And she's no, still, no, no. Is not married not anymore? anymore? No. Oh man, that would be unbelievable. All right, let me take some calls. All right. Uh. All right, we'll go to a couple. I know uh, Reverend Al Sharpton has to be out of here in two minutes. He's got somewhere to go. He won't tell me where. Let me hear you preach. Come on, man. Show I'm off a little bit. Now. Let me hear what you say. I, every time I open my mouth, I'm going to bring you Come to on and talk to me. Yeah. Well, you ought to give people an example of what good preaching is. Yeah. Well, they, they, they only have this. Well, they have a good example of what is not. Reverend Al, Reverend Al. And we'll respond. You know, like like black people. You know, we'll go, yes, say it. Say it. Yes. Woo. Yes, sir. Testify. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> no, don't tell me black people don't do that. Everybody has their own of response. Of course. <laughs> yes, sir. Take your call to Howard. What are you going to preach about this Sunday? Do you know? Have you prepared no. your sermon? No. Do you do it spur do it? Like the moment? Sometimes spontaneous and sometimes Saturday evenings. It's according to... Uh, the what situation. did you preach about last Sunday? I talked about Joshua going around the walls of Jericho. You did? Yeah. Joshua going around the world of Jericho. The wall. <laughs> you sound you like sing the it drunk all? I was trying to get to come in. Tell me, what, and what, tell me something about Jericho. Jericho, Long Island. Jericho, Long Island is all Jewish. Those are the enemy of the black man. Yes, sir. Jericho in the same way that Jesus Christ and Joshua had to go to Jericho. And you wonder why kids beat you up in school. <laughs> oh, <right>? man. <laughs> you feel like kicking my ass. No. Yes, you don't care, right? No. I wonder if you could take me in a fight. You probably could. See, I told you you got this hang up. All right, let's go to uh, Roger from uh, L.A. Roger. Hey, Howard. Yes, what can we do for you for Reverend Al Sharpton? Well, I was watching the news uh, in Albany the other day, and uh, they interviewed, they had a protest or something going on, and they were saying that uh, Reverend Al and everybody, they were sleeping out on the, uh, I don't know, the lawn of the governor or the state house or whatever, but someone said they found out that Reverend Al snuck over and slept in the Omni Hotel then the rest of the night. <laughs> Hey, is that true? Now, come on. No, some Michael Gallagher or somebody said that we, we had a room registered under my name at the Omni, which they did because right. people after spending the night would get up and go bathe and shower. Yes. And he didn't believe that I wasn't using it at night. So I challenged him to stay with us in the park the second night, and he did. And, and to his credit, he got on the radio in Albany and said that we were there all, the whole night and all, and that uh, he froze staying out there with us even though he had a luxury camper and we didn't. Yes. So uh, uh, that was the end of that story. So, so what was the purpose of sleeping out? We, we were having a tent city like they had a Patakiville last uh, 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 year protesting homelessness. Mm -hmm. This was to talk about how the drastic the budget cuts would cause problems for people that were dependent on social programs. Really sucks when you get caught, you know. I mean, if you if you didn't, but you know, if you're in the hotel, yeah, man. I just really, I would have gone to the hotel. I'm still trying to figure out. Did any? 
Does I mean, this I, work, Al? Does this stuff really well, work? Well, I think, I think last year we walked to Albany and others did protest, and we were able to save a lot of the budget cuts. Did Absolutely. you cook out when you were out there? Did you, like, build no, a fire? No, no, churches brought food. No, it, really? was, it wasn't a camping. It was a protest. <laughs> yeah, but wasn't that the case where you didn't walk either? They found out you got a ride? Uh, well, I think the New York State, you know, you, you should start listening to the whole news. <laughs> did you the get New a York, ride? Did the you get same a... guy said that we didn't walk, and the New York State troopers said we were there because they had to protect us, and he walked every step. And, in fact, New York Magazine did five pages because it was a guy that was on a trip with us. And I you, think you only hear the, the headline and never listen to the story. Let me get this right. So you decided that you were going to protest something from the governor. Right. So you guys got sleeping bags. Right. All right. Because black people usually don't like to sleep out. And that, that's, no, that's a white man's sport. Black people. You know what I'm saying? No, no, they stayed at the Omni, too. I don't know. You think they stayed at the Omni, too? No, well, well, I well. would have. Oh, you would have. Yeah. Well, I hate we, sleeping out. I had it. My parents sent me to camp, man. I'm I hated it. But all right, so you went out. Let me understand I this. What was the temperature? Your parents. your parents did a lot of it to you. I mean, <laughs> absolutely. Wait till you see my movie. <laughs> I met your mother. You know her. You see how annoying she yeah, is. I went to your birthday party. At, yeah, remember at, that uh, voice? Terrace that's on the park. Yeah, that's in my head all the time, that yeah. voice. By the way, she married a brother. <laughs> now, that's the problem. That's the problem. That's I know. I problem. feel your pain. I want to talk oh, to your stepfather. There, there she is. I hear, do you hear that voice? Or am I the only oh, one? Really? There it is again. I want to talk to your stepfather. Now, listen oh, to me. He really? owes black America something. <laughs> listen to me. I want to get him a strap. You went out. You bought a sleeping bag. And you slept out in the cold? What temperature was it when you slept out? The last night it was a uh, wind chill factor four below zero. Four below zero. Oh, it was cold that night, Howard. And uh, you, you got in these sleeping bags, and was your wife with you? No. So you were solo at these things? Yeah. Your wife lets you go alone? <laughs> <laughs> Why doesn't your wife go with you? She's not sleeping out no cold. He's the only man that could go from a protest to start talking about who was in the sleeping bag with you. How long have you been married? Fifteen years. Do you have sex more than once a week? Uh, I am not going to fulfill your fantasies of black manhood. <laughs> oh, come you know. on. You see, she's everything racial, man. Well, you, this you, is two you, guys you got a talking. Problem with Can't you be a guy? You got, yeah, you I am going to be a reverend guy. But a guy a that I hang out with don't sit around talking about looking at themselves in the mirror and asking <laughs> how many times a week. Oh, yeah. Who do you hang sex? out with? That's a very so insecure, you, perverted you type of self definition. Who do you hang out with? I hang out with various people, but, none of which discuss these things. James Brown, you hang out with? Sometimes. And you never. Oh, and how's he doing since his wife died? He's fine. He's all right. He's fine. He's the one told me to show up this morning. Really? And I will call him and give him my opinion <laughs> as soon as I leave. You're gonna strangle him. <laughs> he didn't come with you. This he, time. Protest, he obviously is a friend of yours. What I'm leading to, and, and I'll, I'll let you go. I know you're in a rush. Protests? Do they lead? Are they a great place to pick up broads? In other words, do you ever see anybody climbing into each other's sleeping bag or getting sex at the protest? No. 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 It's all serious business. Always. You no, none of your groupies, because there are a lot of women who love you, didn't try to climb into your sleeping bag. No. No. Do you have a double sleeping bag? <laughs> Do you no. have? For you, you're a big. You're a big man. Do you have a double sleeping we, bag? We went from me losing weight to back to big. I mean, there's no logic at all to this. Uh... Are there girls at these protests? Sure, there are women. There are. Sure. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> and nothing goes down, huh? Is it old church women or is it cute women? There are all kinds of women. Really? Nice ones. Young ones? Young, old. Young African-American women? Yes. Young every kind of woman. Really? And old every white kind women of woman. White women, too. Everyone in sleeping bags. And you're willing to admit here that you do not dislike white people? I never have said I dislike white people. Well, I there's do not a dislike... perception out there. I'm not Why? saying you said it. Why there is there a perception, a perception that... that you don't like white people? No. In fact, uh, uh, I don't even know why that's per... there's that perception. You, you, you <laughs> Some of my best friends it. are white. Really? Well, that's what it is. Who are your white friends? <laughs> yeah, who's your white friends? I'm trying to be friends with Howard. <laughs> Who do you hang around with? Come on. Who do I hang around yeah. with? Yeah, Jackie oh. Mason? Yeah. Jackie. <laughs> my, 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 my cup buddy. Who do you hang around my with? My ace boo cool, Who, Jackie, yeah. Jackie yeah. Mason. Is he your ace boo cool? <laughs> my ace boo cool. Don't make a major decision without hearing advice from him. Let me say something now. Let me give a shout out to my man, Al Sharpton. <laughs> Here we go. Al Sharpton, thank you for coming in today. You have a new book. Let's thank hey, the Lord now. Jesus Christ for giving you the power to sit down and write a book. Why go tell us tell the Pharaoh? Go, yeah, what the hell is the Pharaoh? What Pharaoh have you seen? Go and tell Pharaoh what is the Pharaoh. Preach to us, brother. Come on, tell us what the Pharaoh is. By the book. <laughs> what you mean by Pharaoh? Pharaoh is, comes out of the biblical reference to the, yes, sir. the man that owned the slaves. Yes, that sir. That Moses led to freedom. Nice. Moses took the peoples to freedom. Yes, sir. <laughs>
Are you comparing yourself to Moses? Yes, sir. No. Yes, sir. I'm comparing yes, sir. those in office today to Pharaoh. May we ask the Lord Jesus Christ that you sell a hundred thousand books at a yes, minimum. Hallelujah. Tell it. Tell it. May I also pray that you continue to lose the weight. Hallelujah. I'm glad to see you looking fine, my brother. And may we get Robin out the cage. <laughs> and I pray the next time I get to interview you, if I should be so lucky, you open up about your sex life. Hallelujah. And talk like a man. And don't be afraid, because that's how you beat Satan, by yes, getting sir. up and talking about all your sins. Yes, sir. That's, right. that's right. Yes, sir. Oh, Howard. Thank you, Mom. The Reverend Al Sharpton, very sexy picture. Kind of looks um, like... Um, shadowy, isn't it? You know who you kind of look like on the cover? Mm. It's not Miss America. Like a Billy D. Williams. Uh, you know, I thought you'd say Yeah, that. right? Look, I I, how many pictures did you take? You're a vain man. You are a vain man. Admit it. You love to... You are vain. You did you have a makeup that. artist for this cover? No. Oh. <laughs> and look. Look at the serious face. It's a serious book. Wow. It's a serious book. And the lighting is so yeah, dramatic. Like, oh, oh. You didn't you didn't have your hair done special for this book and makeup? Absolutely. There is no makeup in this picture. No. I don't believe it. It's a candy shot. Yeah, it's Very a candy shot. How many how long were you at the photo session for this? I don't even remember. Tell there's, there's nothing candy about that. Like, you posed for that picture. Look yeah, at that. In my office. In your office? Yeah. Where is your office? 125th Street and then one on Bedford Avenue in Brooklyn. It's not safe there. I don't I'm like going to bring there. you to both of my offices. Really? I tell you, you inspire us, Howard. Really? Thank you. <laughs> Every time we think we made progress, <laughs> we turn you on. We turn on the show. Well, I want to thank the Reverend Al Sharpton for coming in. Give him a chance to read his book, see what he's all about. Am I right? Yes, sir. Before and, you start screaming at him, read his book. And don't signify. <laughs> Just read the book. Am that's I right? That's right. That's and learn who the Pharaoh is. Yes. Thanks for coming in, Reverend thank Al. Thank you. It's good to see you Take again. Thank you, Howard. We'll take a break, yeah. and we'll all be right. back right after this.